हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू योर चैनल लाइफ साइंस ज्ञान आई एम अनुकंपा एंड इन टूडेज वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू शेयर द मीनिंग ऑफ फ्यू वर्ड्स यू विल गो थ्रू दीज टर्म्स वेन एवर यू विल रीड सम गुड आर्टिकल सम रिसर्च पेपर्स और इफ यू विल गो थ्रू सम गुड बुक्स ऑफ साइंस subscribe lsg and press the bell icon to get the latest so these terms are in vitro in vivo and in silico so let's understand about these words and for understanding let's get into the video so starting with the first term that is in vivo in vivo term is basically used to tell the experiments that are basically performed inside the living creature that living creature can be a living organism or anything which is actually live so nowadays you can relate it with the uh, vaccines like we were saying that vaccines are going to go for clinical trials so basically in that clinical trial we will apply those vaccines to the living organisms so that is some kind of experiment that we are going to perform in vivo coming on to the second term that is in vitro in vitro term is basically used to tell whatever experiments we are performing in the test tubes or glass wares means inside the laboratories where we are not actually using the real world or the real living organisms we are actually doing all those experiments inside the test tube or inside a uh, petri dish means something some kind of glass ware which we are actually using inside a laboratory so in vitro means in the lab in the women's inside some living organism or creature coming on to the third and the last term of today's episode and that is in silico so basically in silico term is nowadays very much used because nowadays we are well equipped with the term bioinformatics don't worry i'll discuss about this term in detail in my upcoming upload but to tell you about in silico silico basically used for the silicon chips so silico word here mean inside the computers so whenever we are doing some kind of experiment inside the computers or we are doing some kind of simulation simulation i'll tell you about that in the upcoming uploads too but it's like when you are trying to mimic the real world in the computer so whenever we want to do these kinds of experiments then we go for in silico analysis so this was all about these three terms in vitro in vivo and in silico nowadays the sequence generally for an experiment goes by in vitro means wet lab experiments then we generally go for experiments on computers that is in silico and then we apply those drugs or vaccines to the living creatures and then we generally go to the in vivo condition so this was all about this episode do you like this video and if you have any kind of question or you have any kind of topic in your mind which you really want me to discuss with you then do write that in the comment section below and subscribe my channel bye bye